Number 44, a lamp hangs vertically from a cord in the descending elevator that decelerates at 2.4 meters per square second. Letter A, if the tension in the cord is 89 newtons, what is the lamp's mass? Letter B, what is the cord's tension when the elevator ascends with an upward acceleration of 2.4 meters per square second? So this is our elevator over here and this over here is our lamp so this is our lamp over here so the first thing that we have to do is to draw our free body diagram uh, for the lamp and we have only two forces we have the tension from the cord and we have the force from gravity let's call it fg the set second thing is we just choose that upwards is positive or negative it would work in, in any case, so if you choose that upwards is negative, it would work as well. Okay, so let's remember Newton's second law, which states that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. So we only have two different forces here, the tension and the force of gravity. This is equal to mass times acceleration. So using this equation, we can find the mass, which is the answer of letter A. However, Fg contains the mass as well because the force of gravity is equal to the mass times gravity. So this is tension minus mass times gravity is equal to mass times acceleration. So we want to find the mass. So we are going to send this term to the other side. So the tension is equal to Ma plus Mg. So M which multiplies A plus G. So the mass of the lamp is equal to T over A plus G. The tension is 89. The acceleration is, let's see, the acceleration is positive, right? Because the elevator is descending. The elevator is going to this direction. It is decelerating. So the acceleration points upwards. So the acceleration is positive, it's 2.4 positive. The acceleration of gravity points downwards, so it should be negative. However, we already used the, the negative sign over here. So the acceleration of gravity is positive because we already add the minus sign over here. So plus 9.8, and this gives us roughly 7.3 kilograms. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, so we want the tension in the cord when the elevator ascends with an upward acceleration of 2.4 meters per square second. So again, the acceleration is upwards and the acceleration is the same. The only difference is that the elevator is going upwards, but the acceleration is the same. So we are going to use this equation to find the tension. So the tension is equal to mass times acceleration plus gravity, mass is 7.3, we just calculated it over here. The acceleration is again plus 2.4 and the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 and this gives us the same tension as before, 89 newtons, because it is the same situation. The only thing that changes is the velocity of the elevator.